Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob, and today, because I'm feeling a little bit extra creative, we are using this here green screen behind me. Has nothing to do at all with the fact that if I don't start using the camera stuff I'm buying, my wife might start questioning my financial decisions. Nothing to do at all with that. So, moving on. I want to start this video off with a story that happened to me just a couple months ago. I was coming home from work and I was riding in a cab because I thought, you know what, it's a little cold today, I want to take a cab home. Well, I got in this cab here in Korea and the guy didn't speak any English at all. Normally that's not an issue, I just point straight ahead and they go. But this time the guy, I guess, didn't see me pointing or didn't like the fact that I was pointing which direction to go. He wanted to audibly hear me tell him where to go. And when I couldn't do that, he kicked me out of his cab. So in order to prevent that from happening to you today, I want to give you five words, five Korean words that you can use while you're riding in a cab. That way you never get kicked out because you don't know the language. Now, these five words I'm about to give you are going to simply be to go straight, to turn left, to turn right, to stop, and to turn around. These five words in Korean have saved me a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of money because when they miss your turn because you don't know exactly how to tell them to turn the direction you're needing to go, they keep going and you keep spending money. And the less frustration on the cabbies. So kicking it off with number one, Jikjin, which means straight. Listen closely to this. I'll spell it out right here for you so you literally can't mess this up. Jikjin. Jikjin. It's just telling him to go straight, keep going. When you're at a stoplight, you're not ready to turn left and right, and he's looking at you in that rear view mirror, say Jikjin, he's going to know you want to keep going straight. For the second one, we're going to learn how to say turn left. And to say turn left, all you got to say is win cho. Win cho. Right here, win cho. If you're not wanting to turn left, you're simply wanting to go to the right. I've messed this one up before, getting it mixed up. It's oroncho. Oroncho. I remember this one as orange cho, but kind of putting a little bit of twist on the word. Now, I might not pr pronounce it perfectly, but every single time I've ever said this, the cab drivers understand me clearly. Now, whether you are just getting frustrated with getting mixed up in location because you're having an issue and that language barrier is just hitting you, or whether it's time for you to just stop and get out of the car, what you want to say is Jong Ji. Jong Ji. Spell it right here once again Jong Ji. Now for this last one, it's actually going to be real simple. If you've gone past your place that you're wanting to get off, or maybe you're actually just wanting to get off on the other side of the street, all you got to do to tell them to turn around is simply say U-turn. That's right. U-turn here in Korea means, hey, flip a U-turn. Simple, easy as that. Not going to get confused with that one. Make sure you remember it because the cab drivers will normally find a good place to hit that U-turn and find a place on the right side of the street to drop you off. Alright guys, that was five Korean words that you're going to need if you're going to take the taxis here in Korea. Make sure to remember those, write them down if you have to. Keep a little card in your wallet with those words on them. That way you remember them because it's really going to help you out, going to make the entire transaction between you and the cab driver that much easier. If you guys have any other words you think could really help everybody else, drop them down below, whether they're related to riding in a cab or any other public transportation, or words you think that people should just know when visiting Korea. Otherwise, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit it with that big thumbs up. And if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.